Hello everybody, it's the Geek Guy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at another Star Wars Vintage Collection uh, figure. Today we're going to be looking at the Walmart exclusive uh, Yavin Ceremony Luke Skywalker. Now, uh, this figure um, came out around fall-ish um, for the Christmas season. I recently got this, picked this up. Um, as you can see, it's still here in the package. I have opened it before, and I've taken it out, so everything's all good. But, you know, it's still on the card. I kept the bubble and everything like that intact. So we're going to take a quick look at the card and then at the figure itself. Now, um, what I'd first like to talk about before we even talk about this figure, and I'm going to set this down right here, is the lack of videos recently. Um, that's mostly due to the COPPA laws and the FTC. Um, you can watch, like, any... Like, if, you're more, if you're not really aware of that, I think uh, Retro Blasting, uh, which is a YouTube channel, and, like, Junkman... Um, those kinds of people, they did YouTube videos about that, but what it boils down to is YouTube is cracking down on child-targeted videos, and if you have videos that are targeted towards children, there's, you don't get ads, you don't get comments, you don't get put out, you don't get publicized, and if you try and fight it, and the FTC deems that you're still child-targeted, you get slapped with a pretty hefty fine, like forty-two dollars or $46,000. I mean, it's a ludicrous amount for a review of a $13 action figure. So... Um, I'd first like to say that if you're watching this under the age of 13, please pause the video, drop out of it, close out of it, get a parent's permission. This video is not targeted towards children. This is an, uh, a collectible. This figure, it says ages 4 and up, but, you know, it's on collectible packaging. I am not targeting children, and this is not an advertisement. This is my uh, thoughts of this figure as a fan um, myself. So this is more so what I think about this figure as a representation of this character, very near and dear to me in my childhood. So, just going to put that out of the way, and we will now, I believe, uh, you probably saw that uh, disclaimer at the beginning of the video, um, stating what exactly what I just said. So, hopefully new videos coming out soon. It was a mixture of mostly fear of the fines and FTC. I think I got everything figured out, and plus a little bit of the holiday season taking over. As I'm sure you guys know, it gets exceptionally busy for most people around that time. Uh, and, you know, end of fall, winter, into Christmas, but now that it's the new year, hopefully be having a lot more figure reviews. Um, I've got the Jabba's Palace, the Walmart exclusive one, I have that one, um, in the works. I have the, uh, a Gigan figure, um, uh, from Bandai's Movie Monsters line, straight from Japan. I have a lot of Bandai Movie Monsters, and I have one or two new WWE figures. So, should be seeing a lot of reviews. I'm trying to kind of try and kick out, like... Do a couple Star Wars, maybe do Oh My Godzilla, maybe do WWE, or I don't know if I mix up. Leave it in the comments what you guys like more. Do you guys like the consistency? A couple Star Wars, a couple Godzilla, a couple WWE, or do you guys want to see me kind of mix it up? I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. But uh, anyway, that's just kind of catching you guys up. Um, that's pretty much what's kind of going on with the channel, and uh, you can expect to see more. Additionally, I also have a podcast in the works, which has been taking a lot of my time. Um, so I hope to get that first episode out sometime mid-January. Um, it's got a lot of really cool people. A lot of them uh, you can see in the uh, other cool channels, but on my channel, um, like Nug Nug Gaming and uh, the Misc X or the Lonely X. He goes by a couple different names. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm really excited about it. And if you are excited about it, you can follow it at the Guys Gaming Podcast. And uh, it's in either... I will put a link to it in the video in the video description so be ready for that you guys it's going to be a gaming podcast talking about action figures video games movies other kind of geeky interests uh music maybe just a lot of stuff it's mostly going to be a hangout thing but you know it's mostly going to be about video games um unless you know of course we all get off track just like i do with all my other videos so <sighs> anyway let's get back to this uh this figure review so this is a uh, figure from the Vintage Collection that came out this year. This is a re-release of the Black Series figure, I believe, with the photoreal technology, and you'll get a closer look at that. So let's take a look at the card first. Luke is in the bubble. Um, he does not come with a full lightsaber. He comes with the hilt, the gun, and the metal, and he has a holster for the gun. It's really nice. I really like the representation. Um, we never. This is a figure we never got in the Vintage Kenner line, so I kind of get it now on this card back. is really cool. This is the Episode 4 card back because there's no... Uh, subtitle like the Mandalorian or, or uh, you know M Empire or Return of the Jedi or Revenge of the Sith or anything like that. Now if we flip it around, we can see the rest of this wave. This was in the Episode Nine wave. I couldn't tell you, but this is VC 151. 
Um, and let's see, um, like we got some re-releases. I believe that Poe's a re-release. That Boba Fett's a re-release. Luke Skywalker X Wing Pilots a re-release. That Archie's a re-release. And we also got some other figures. I do not have any Episode Nine figures yet, but I uh, do have a. Well, I've already done the review of him. I'd like to get um, Imperial Stormtrooper. And if I was going to get some Episode Nine figures, it'd probably be the Sith Jet Trooper and Zori, because those were kind of like the two standout characters for me from that film. Additionally, if you'd like to hear my thoughts on that film, I'll leave something in the comments if you guys want to hear about me talk about the films or the trilogies. I'm going to say it up front, I don't really like the new trilogy, but that doesn't, and you know, I know everybody's negative about everything on YouTube, so if that's something you guys would like to hear, you know, I do have some good things to say about those movies. I don't think they're all bad, so, uh, you know, but let's, I'm just kind of sticking with the original trilogy as far as my action figure collecting goes. So, yeah, that's pretty much the card, pretty simple, pretty nice. Ooh, my, uh, backdrop almost fell down there. So, yep, um, later we're going to do a cutaway, and I'll have this figure out of the package. Alright guys, so out of the package, this Luke figure is pretty phenomenal in my opinion. Um, he looks really accurate. Now let's get first, I'd like to show you guys the face. Let's see if I can kind of move it. I think the face is absolutely fantastic. It really looks like Mark Hamill. Um, I think it's maybe, I think they finally are nailing the, uh, um, the hair color too and the facial sculpt and everything. I think sometimes um, Luke looks a bit too skinny in the face. Um, I think I think this is a really good representation. Of course, it gets a little bit pixely when he's up close, but from a distance, you know, it's definitely Luke. Now, the outfit is actually incredibly simple. It's basically a Han Solo attire he was wearing. You can see he's got, like, the brown Corellian pants, like Han's Endor pants with the lines on the side. He's got the high boots like Han wore. He's got a ha black Han shirt, kind of like what we saw in Solo. Uh, he's got a belt with a... Um, I want to say like a leg holster and it's strapped to his, you know, around his thigh. And then he's wearing that really nice leather jacket. I believe this jacket is the same one we saw on Ponda Baba, which is another review I have coming, the Black Series Ponda Baba. But the standout feature is, of course, it's yellow, you know, the black and the brown, but he's got the really nice crisp yellow jacket. He's got the metal, and he's got a few more accessories we'll get into in a bit. Uh, now first, I'd like to go into articulation. Now the metal, I'm just going to keep on for the purposes of this review since there's nothing hiding behind it, and it's kind of, you know, completes the look of the figure. But, you know, it's really easy to just take on and off. You just pop off the head, and there he goes. So, and I'd like to see, I don't believe, I'm going to take him off screen for a second. I don't believe there's any numbers on his little, uh, um, I don't even know what that is, to be honest. Um, I, it looks like a, uh, the, um, like a name tag. But I don't think it's written in, it's not written in English. Actually, there's nothing on it. Like, I think it's just got some pain and detail. But as far as articulation goes, we got a ball joint at the head. Full 360 degree movement. You look down that far, like up that much. Not really. Uh, moving on to the shoulder. It's got a joint right here. Got a lot of good range of motion. It's got the joint right at the elbow. And then at the wrist, he's got 360 degree movement. Moving down, he's got a joint at the uh, waist. And then his legs can move up. It's not really hindered cut by that holster. He can easily sit down. And then he's got a joint at the uh, knee. And he's got a boot cut. Um, and then he does not actually have a hinge of the boot cut. So setting him down. And while I get his accessories out. He comes with a blaster pistol. And it fits very nicely in his hand. Let me pull him off screen for a second so I can put it in his hand. Uh, his right hand does have a trigger finger molded for it. Um, so it's really going to be kind of difficult to for the gun to fall out. The uh, only problem I ever have with trigger fingers in these figures is because they bend very easily. And I'm always a little bit afraid of breaking them. Although I've never actually had one break. So there you go. Here he is with his gun. Fits really well. It's not going to fall out. Um, and here he is with, you can put it in the holster. And then additionally, we're getting this out of the package. Luke comes with his lightsaber hilt. Uh, he comes with the Anakin Skywalker lightsaber. Let's see if I, maybe that'd be the best way to hold it. Uh, if it'll focus. It won't focus. There we go. Uh, as you can see, it's just silver with the black detail on the, uh, grip at the end and it comes with the peg because and this I'm so, I apologize for taking him off and on screen so much but it's just very difficult to do from a distance since we're working with little pieces here 
Um, his lightsaber does actually have a hole, or rather, rather his belt has a hole for the peg on the lightsaber to go to. So you can put the lightsaber on his belt, and it'll just kind of hang there, and it's not actually falling off. I have moved the figure around quite a bit, and it's I've never had it fall off if it's very snugly in there. And, of course, it's articulation and everything. You can kind of get him in a very nice, noble pose. Like that. And I just think it is a very nice looking figure. Just hold him on. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to conclude this review. It's probably about a bit shorter, about a 10 minute review. But if you did like it, please leave a like in the comment. Or if you want to leave a like in the comments, just comment the word like. Uh, leave a like on the video. Comment any ideas or any suggestions you have. Like I said, I threw out some uh, videos I have in the works. Which one do you want to see the most? Of course, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. All that YouTube jazz. And, uh... I apologize for the lack of videos, but now that I'm kind of getting on back on track, I'm hoping to get some more out soon, and I will see you guys in my next video. Alright, bye bye